Compound interest is really one of the most simple but most fundamental principles behind investment. In the simplest form, maybe the best way to explain it is, if you invest, you've got a capital amount. So let's assume you've got 100,000 Rand to invest. You start investing this year, you put down your 100,000 Rand, assuming you earn a decent return, and decent would be inflation plus about 4%, it's around 10%. At the end of the year, you'd earn 10,000 Rand on your 100,000 Rand. So therefore, capital of 110,000 Rand at the end of the year. In year two, the benefits of compounding really start kicking in. So in year two, you're earning exactly the same interest portion, 10%, but on a bigger investment amount. So in essence, after year two, you'd earn 11,000 interest versus the 10,000 interest in the first year. So really a very simple principle. How does it come alive? So maybe let's talk about two key parts in, in uh, compound interest. The first one is probably the most important fundamental part. And if you look at a lot of the research, again in the old mutual savings investment monitor, one of the biggest things is for people to start investing early enough. So let's have a look at an example. Assuming you take two customers, two clients, two investors for that matter, the first one starts investing at 25. The second investor only starts investing at 35. So it's a 10 year age gap or 10 year difference before the second investor starts investing. Now if you assume both of them do exactly the same thing. So both invest 500 Rand and they again invest for a reasonable amount of return, so assuming a 10% return. And in time, the premium of the 500 bucks goes up with inflation. The question is, what is the return difference in time for those two investors, assuming they want to retire at 55? It is a fundamental difference. So the first guy started at 25, would in that example get 1.8 million rand. The second investor, a 10 year delay, would cost him 1.3 million rand. So the second invest in this case would just get short of 580,000 rands. So that really is in very simple terms the benefit for compound interest. Start investing, start investing early, and earn interest on the amount that you've invested and on your compounded growth on a year by year basis. That's the one principle. The second very, very important one, it's also about the amount of return that you get. So let's again take an example. If you take again two customers, two exact same investors, the one investor, investing into a low risk type of asset, let's call it a bank deposit or something similar, investing 10,000 Rand. Now currently those type of assets would yield approximately 4%. The second investor investing to get a real return. So in essence to beat inflation, grow their wealth over the long term. The second investor again, a reasonable type of return is 10%, so inflation plus 4. If you again take the difference between those two investors, after a 10 year period, investor one at 4%, would have earned 5,000 Rand in interest, plus minus, so his capital would have grown to plus minus 15,000 Rand. The second investor, 25,000 Rand. So again, a very simple illustration. To position, it's not just about starting early, it's also about earning the appropriate or the right amount of return on your investment. So from a comp compounding perspective, just to summarize, start early and ensure that you earn an appropriate return. The obvious question is what is appropriate? And it certainly differs depending on who you are as an investor, what your objectives are. But the key, key thing and appropriate is earn a return above inflation. Then depending on your own objectives, your own risk profile, it would differ from person to person. But it has to be a real return that grows your capital over time.